Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Lava Lockdown video. So in this video, we're going to deploy Lava Lockdown application into Ubuntu server. So first we will create a Lava Lockdown app, then we will push this app to GitHub repository. And then we'll deploy this application onto Ubuntu server. We will configure the supervisor job to run our application in the in the daemon. And then lastly, we'll configure Nginx server. And at the end of this video, we will have a working application deployed on Nginx and uh, serving all the requests. So yeah, let's go ahead and without further ado, dive right in. So the first step is we'll start by creating a new Laravel app. So let's go ahead and run Laravel, Laravel new app. So I created this application with Laravel installer. So if you don't have Laravel installer configure, so you might get a suggestion on the right side. So you can go to this video and configure Laravel installer. And um, if you don't want to configure Laravel, you can actually create your application using Composer, create project Laravel slash Laravel and application. And yeah, that's another way to do it. And let's go ahead and install Laravel Octane into our app. Okay, uh, so we got our Laravel Octane application. Let's go ahead and run this application. Let's check it in the browser. So we have our application running. Uh, so yeah, good. So we got the Laravel welcome page here. And let's go ahead and create uh, a new repository here and we'll apply this application there okay so we will push this application to github repository that we just created so first we need to initialize this as a git repo so git is initialized add all the files and this is first commit so we'll call it first commit and uh, we'll add the remote here and we'll push everything here sorry about that okay so our application is now on github so the next step is to clone this application on the server and we'll do that i already logged into my server so i'll just run git clone and Okay, so we have our application clone. Uh, let's go ahead and install all the dependencies here. So all the dependencies are installed. So now we need to copy the env example to .env. And we also need to create an application key. Uh, so I think that's all we needed to do. Uh, let's go ahead and now try to run this ap our application, uh, Octane application. Okay, so port is 8000 is in use, so we'll change the port to 8089. Okay, uh, and we can close it and let's check it. Check Octane server, Octane status. Uh, Octane server is not running, so which is cool. So the next thing we need to do is we need to run our Octane server using a supervisor job. Uh, if you want to read more about the supervisor, uh, you can actually go to Laravel documentation here and uh, then you can search for supervisor and you will get the, all the all the information that you need supervisor is actually a small linux application that uh, uh, takes a program that it keeps an eye on and if at any time this app, app goes down or app gets closed it actually restarts the app automatically so you can actually install this application using sudo install supervisor i already have in my server so i will just go ahead and configure this and I also uh, added the configuration for our app here. And so I will be using that. And uh, I will also share this link in the YouTube description. You can get this add supervisor uh, configuration. So to add this configuration, we will go to supervisor configuration directory and we'll create our app here. We'll call it Octane app. Paste this and so we'll call it Actinab, and then this is our app application path, which is fine. 
and we just need to change the port to zero. I've already made a video on uh, PHP Artisan uh, Octane CLI, so I will also put this in the description so you can check it out if you don't know what is these, what are these guys. Okay, uh, so we have uh, our configuration added in the supervisor. We just need to, we just need supervisor to reread this so we can actually run these command. Okay, so at this stage, supervisor already start the application Octane M, but we can actually check this using uh, this command so our application is running or not. Okay. So its name is optin underscore app. Yeah, so it is already started. Let's go ahead and check the application status from the application directory. You can do that by PHP Artisan Octane status. Okay, so Octane server is running. So now the last step is to configure Nginx to proxy all our requests to this uh, Octane application. So we can do that by creating a new Nginx configuration. So for that, we'll just go to Nginx configuration directory. So sites available is the is the place where you uh, create all your uh, configuration. So let's go ahead and do that. And I have also like added the con added the con uh, Nginx configuration here in the JS. So you can copy it and paste it out. You just need to change the uh, change the path key based on your own domain name. So I will be hosting an app dot me. So it is fine. And also you need to update the port. So in our case eight zero eight nine and everything else is fine so now we need to go to sites enable directory and we'll symlink this um, the configuration here okay uh, the last thing is we need to restart the server So uh, we have restarted the server. Let's go ahead and check app.redhonzoo.me and see like what we get. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, so we have our application hosted on Laravel Octane. And uh, so I would let me just um, go through all the steps again. So we created a new Laravel Octane app. And then we push the application to GitHub repo. And then we clone the repo on the server, install all the dependencies, uh, fix uh, the environment configuration. Then we will edit a supervisor job that actually started our application in the daemon mode. And lastly, we'll add, add it, we added the engineer's configuration to proxy all our requests to Lava Lockdown. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and put your comments and share this video with your friends. And if you, uh, if you want to keep watching and uh, similar content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will keep posting more videos like this. Uh, so yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.